to be asked to be amongst you on this day of celebration of Women's International Day. It is a great honor once again to be with you, Madam President Rajavi, and to be amongst women who remind me so much of the women of my country. Because when the struggle for apartheid was happening, it was the women who took the lead in standing and taking that struggle to the street. It was the women of South Africa who told the apartheid government, now you have struck the women, now you have struck a rock. And I know that the mullahs in Iran are terrified because they know they have struck the women of Iran and that they have indeed struck a rock. So what chance does the Iranian regime stand when there are thousand women in liberty who continue to put their lives on the line day after day? What chance does the regime stand when there are young women inside Iran leading protests on college campuses? What chance does this regime when the opposition is led by a woman like Mariam Rajab. No chance. No chance. They can continue as much as they like. They can continue oppressing. They can continue imprisoning. They can continue torturing. They can even continue killing. But the truth is they know their regime is the one that will die. The truth is, they cannot stand against the force of the women of Iran. They cannot stand against the force of the people around the world who celebrate and believe in liberty and democracy in Iran. They cannot stand. What chance do they have? So it is not a surprise that they try and show the world that they are invincible because they know that they are not. It's not a surprise that they try and show the world that they are in total control because they know they are not. Today we celebrate International Women's Day in Paris in support of the brave women and men of the Iranian resistance. But I've said it before and I'll say it here. I know that one day, not very long from now, we will be celebrating International Women's Day in Tehran. And I want